Yeah, what's up? Uh, United Engine Machine is here to talk to you about their new piston design. Will you tell him I'll be over in a minute? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, this is awesome. Thanks. You're welcome. Bye. All right, listen. This guy, I've heard about these pistons. We've been shipped some of them. We'll show them to you. This is interesting. These pistons look like a golf ball. They got dimples in them, and they're coated. The piston company is called Speed of Air, and they're represented by a United Engine Machine. These piston design has been around a while, but now they're offering them in medium-duty diesel applications. They also have them for direct injection. But I've been told that with a gapless second ring, uh, it increases the oil life because you're not getting the soot down in them. That makes sense. I can see that on a gapless second ring. The other uh, things they're talking about is kind of like, I mean, if it works, it works, but like 20 to 25 percent increase in fuel efficiency, 200 degrees less on your exhaust gas temperatures. That I got to see. Let's see, what else were they telling me about? A lot quieter. Now that, I'm like, okay, how could that happen? How could it be quieter? And I've been told it's like quite noticeable. So I don't know. I'm a skeptic until I'm a believer. It's kind of how my mama taught me to be. So we'll, uh, we're going to check it out. It's big in the industry. I mean, it's brand new technology. So I'm excited to see it. I'm really grateful that I was kind of picked to, to be a guy to talk about this with him. So let's go check it out. Uh, I brought a stock piston and I brought a new concept that we're working on. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. It, it, Would you mind, I'm going to open this door, we can pull the truck in here, and we can work right out of the back of your truck. Sure. For you to yeah, talk to me about it. Yeah, whatever you guys it. want to do. Let's do it. We'll Thank see. you. We'll see you in just a minute. You bet. So did you notice anything when I pulled in? It was quiet. 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 By the way, let's introduce Bill. Bill from United Engine Machine, and he's going to talk to us today about some new technology on pistons and uh, teach us, man, that's what we want. Obviously, we are looking for ways that we can lengthen the runway for internal combustion engines. So Speed of Air is an engine technology company. United Engine Machine is a piston manufacturer. So they got talking about various technologies that they were using that reduced emissions, reduced heat, reduced the amount of carbon buildup in a piston, the amount of carbon transferred into oil, oil right. those types of things. So they started working together on various solutions for diesel engine pistons because that's where we have the most amount of soot there's a lot of focus on diesel particulate matter those type of things and speed of air has a very strong history of doing those things and achieving great results they've been doing it in mining equipment for a while the technology's been around for a long time right okay. um, so yes most recently mining diesel those type of things big heavy industrial and commercial stationary all kinds of stuff okay world war ii aircraft Get out of here. Yeah, trying to stretch the amount of miles or hours you could get out of a, wow. a wing load, right? But what makes it unique today, the company ownership today has been able to test and deliver results, modify, improve, deliver results. And that's where we are today. Right. So when you look at an older piston design, you know, you got a bowl, you got a ring land. Right, you got a steel top ring land. So insert. here's something interesting that you brought that up. So this Elfin ring, as it's called, is an original patent from United Engine Machine. They patented that process in the yeah. Dolwai piston back in the 50s. So every piston that you see with that in it, which is almost all diesel diesels, pistons, yeah. all, all cast aluminum diesel pistons yeah, for right, sure, right? right? So yeah, this is what we deal with today. This has, happens to have a skirt coating on it. So the high performance piston is a combination of solutions and technologies to solve specific problems, right? So this is an example of a piston today. So we've got a ceramic top coating, right? And we know that that's going to reflect more energy back into the turbocharger on turbo applications and help with efficiency. We have a gapless second ring that we're employing from Total Seal and their patented tech. That keeps the soot out of the oil. Right. We all know that. Right. But if you actually, when you get your dyno going, one of the really important tools is a blow-by meter. And so a JTEC blow-by meter will show you when that piston goes down, <laughs> because it has a better seal, it pulls more air in. When that piston goes up, you get better compression and better combustion sealing. So there's actually three effects from that single ring. So not only does it extend the service life of the oil and engine and all that kind of stuff, it also contributes to power. So that's 
mm. another piece of the sauce. And then we have the speed of air dimple technology. These are specifically sized and shaped and positioned per engine oh, wow. to try and produce the best possible outcome. Yeah, yeah this de lipping cuts. Yeah, what, what is that all about? So it's been a practice in, in the diesel industry forever to de lip, right? right? So we're trying variations of delips because we understand how much compression we lose, any efficiency we lose, they get hard to start when it's cold, they smoke, something we're trying to avoid, right? So this is just a pattern that we've developed around a particular 6.4 Ford that we're going to try and get the benefits of delipping, but still keep a whole bunch of the efficiency. Gotcha. Right? So in our results typically are that the greenhouse gases we are reducing dramatically. NOx, sometimes as much as 80, 85%. Really knocks you getting that much out of it. Yeah, right. you got to let the thing go through a few start cycles to completely relearn the map because it's that low. Then it'll learn that it can run leaner than it has before, really, wow. and keep going. And so this truck, I think when I picked it up was around 13.1 to the gallon. Now I'm 16.5 in the last 10,000 miles with the SOA motor. Well, one of the things that's surprising is when you check smog legal trucks, we only get to measure what the after gas is doing to the exhaust. We wanted to measure what we're doing to the engine. Before it gets to the after gas thing. Because that's, so, really, yeah. th that's really what we're after. It's easy for us to demonstrate on a deleted truck, but obviously in places like California, deleted trucks, that's not an option. We wanted to do a lot of work on a fully emission compliant vehicle, right. an ECM, no tune, not even an air filter. Well, you know, and it works. I noticed when you pulled in here in the shop, He's showing me diesel pistons and he's driving a gas truck. And then I looked and I saw it had a Duramax emblem on it. And I was like, it's a diesel truck, but I didn't hear it. Yeah, it's quite I mean, quiet. And, and that's the piston? Yeah, so the first engine we did was a 5.9 Cummins. And they're notoriously loud and oh, yeah. shake and yeah, dead quiet, no smell. And it's, it was a can, deleted truck. Would you mind? Can we start it up? I want yeah, to listen sure. to it. Yeah. I want to listen to it. Wow, isn't that amazing? That's pretty quiet. And guys, we did not replace any of the ancillary stuff. Those are the original injectors. Heck, it's got the original fuel filter on it. I mean, it's so quiet and smooth. Yeah. I, it's, it's really pretty amazing. Yeah. Wow. And then when you get testing, you'll see things like exhaust gas temperatures drop. Okay, I'm not making this up, you know, because I'm really, uh, my wife says I'm too big of a skeptic, but I'm not making this up. That's, it's so much quieter, and I, I don't have the smell. So if you're doing 13 mile to the gallon originally. Which is about what these trucks get, yeah. right? And then you, you're bumping up just over 16, so you're at Yeah, I can three. show you the dash. No, yeah. I believe you. you. You seem like a guy that's not going to lie to me, especially your representative of the company. So, dang, what is, that's 25% fuel increase or something, isn't it? I don't own a fleet of trucks, Yeah. but I know guys that own hundreds of trucks, and they would kill you for 20, 25% fuel increase on their over-the-road stuff. So that's, oh man, yeah. they, that's the value proposition for you guys, to your fleet guys, is not only can you deliver them a turnkey, no changes required, completely legal solution that will pay them back their whatever that you charge them for the pistons. They're also going to pick up increased maintenance intervals. You don't have to change oil yeah, as often. Well, how about the DPF having to come out and be sooted, you know, uh, be regen? How about the EGRs clogging up? Yeah. Especially on the Cummins, right? right? This is just the beginning of this. I'm glad you guys are getting in at, at the bottom, at the beginning. Right. But yeah, it, it has huge upside. Wow. And, and your EGTs, you said those lowered to oh, how yeah. much? 200 degrees. Get out of here. Yeah. Really? So it's another thing on a stock truck that you have to watch because it'll set a light and you have to watch oh, and watch yeah, and watch. Dude, I tell you, let yeah. it relearn, right? I tell my customers, man, you get that EGT, once that crawls up, you know, 1350, 1400, you know, you better, you better start backing out of it. And you can keep that away from that by 200 degrees. We have not had to manipulate an ECM. Like they sort themselves out. You let the start cycles accumulate right and they fix themselves this truck made 210 foot pounds more bottom end 210? than it did 210 just for the piston 
just for the piston. And then you did, and you checked that on a hub dyno. Yep, a calibrated hub dyno. Guys, it, you know, <laughs> uh, wow. it, okay, got all the upsides. What's the downside? Except to get, to get the piston in your motor, you got to pull the motor and rebuild it. What's the downside? Uh, so the cost of the pistons, and like you said, it's the not labor that much to put more. them in. It's so for guys like fleet guys that build motors, your engine builders, the guys operating the trucks, the fleet managers, nobody has to do anything different. You just change the piston. That's yeah. all you do. And you get all the benefits. So <laughs> it's really that simple. So the gapless ring on the second ring, reducing the soot in your oil, which is just a killer for uh, engine life on a diesel. I mean, that, that's, that, that's what wax out uh, the, the oil in a diesel. Have you had uh, any testing done by like, uh, who am I thinking of? Lake Speed. Lake Speed. So Lake, Lake, what's up, bro? <laughs> yes, Lake's been involved with this since the beginning. We keep him in the loop on all our diesel testing. He did some independent testing just on his ring recently with Casey Wagler, where they used that blow by meter uh -huh. to demonstrate exactly what they were getting in you terms know, of results. You know, that was just in uh, Engine Professional, that, this, this, the, this month's issue. I, yeah. do, I do read, everybody out there, you gotta keep current read. <laughs> this is the best thing about social media and the fact that PERA, AERA, SEMA are all actively supporting social channels because we're able to get all this information out to techs, out to the guys right. that use it every day, right? So, <laughs> Isn't it amazing what we can know now compared to what we could know 30 years ago being in this business? Oh, yeah. What's available to us? What's great about today is reading a magazine 30, 40 years ago, you had to take it on faith that what that guy was writing was accurate. Today, they hold you accountable. Where's the dyno test? Yeah. Where's the gas results? Where's the oil analyzer? Yeah. These things are all critically important. Now our customers have confidence that when there's a bump in a fee for some perceived value, right. we can back it up. Yeah. And, and you guys having a dyno, pre-testing all your motors, those are just all the things that great people do to deliver a good product. That's it. So. Yeah, I call it the four C's. Condition, cause, correction, confirm. And the testing, whether it's a wet bench or the dyno, is a confirmation of, of our efforts, of our work. And, yeah. with, and without that, it ain't science, it's speculation. So, yeah. well, it's, it, it, it's interesting that we can change, just by changing the piston, you decrease emissions, you increase the torque, the torque but then these maintenance intervals yeah. Big fleets will do that. They they will they will do an oil test sample and say we're changing oil when it's needed, not by mileage. You know, and and they'll 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 map that. And if this piston and ring combination is giving you less suit into the oil on the maintenance side, it mean may mean you see your customers less often. Yeah. The upside is, on the referrals, you'll see way more customers. Right? I got a T-shirt. You know what it says? No. I'm busy. Do your maintenance. <laughs> I don't need it. We often tell our customers, like, the less we see our customers, the better it means we're probably doing Doing, them. yeah. Because yeah. who wants to go see their shop or mechanic all the time? Yeah. I mean, and if you can reduce maintenance wants. intervals, and it's, it's, it's science, right. not guessing. Right. For you folks, we're seeing a lot of the same failure analysis out of the direct injected gas engines oh, that yeah. we do the diesels. Right. Lake's doing a, a round of seminars right now about how liquid fuel is the enemy of your engine. Yeah. We're taking atomized to vaporize. That's what we're trying to do, right? Yeah. So we can do that for direct injected gas. So for these guys that have the newer gas V8s or little four cylinders in their small fleet car fleets, you've seen the failures in the four cylinder yeah. stuff. Yeah. This will help. And, and that's our next round of testing. So. The direct injection is, you know, it's a carbon producer. Yeah. So put a ring, put a dimple on it. Yeah. Wow. Well, and they're largely turbos, right? Yeah. So. I, I feel like it's been a thing in the diesel world is just add more fuel. That's how you get more power. Power. I mean, it, it just put in bigger injectors. But, <laughs> but, yeah. but, it, but it's bigger unusual that it's like, so, so you're decreasing the efficiency to gain power. This you're increasing the efficiency to gain power which is a like, perfect combination yeah, yeah 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 i'll tell you what everybody out there this is a piston that we're offering on our monster engine line and uh it is a little bit of an upgrade but i mean this is kind of like are you kidding me you don't do this somebody got to get smacked bill 
Thank you so much. Dave, thanks for the opportunity. That was really Appreciate awesome. It. Appreciate thanks, it. Bill. Miles, thank you. This is Lake. Lake, this is Dave at Dave's Auto Center out in Centerville, Utah. Hey, man, how you doing, sir? I'm doing very well. You know, we've never formally met. You know, I'm, I, we've been crossing paths with people that know, you know, know each other, but uh, I don't think we've ever met. We may have even been by the shop one time before, no. I think. I, I would, Lake. I, I I would have remembered you because I've been a fan of you for a long time. I, I'm pretty. <laughs> uh, that would that would have been like me. Uh, and don't take it meeting Mickey Mouse or something, dude. Okay. So. <laughs> well, cool. Well, I, I appreciate that. Well, we can we can fix both of these things. In March, I, I'm planning on being out in Utah. I my thought was, you guys are doing a great job with everything you're doing social media wise and uh, obviously you got the Rottler stuff and I've seen the videos you did with the profilometer talking about surface finish I mean that's just it's just spot on it's so good it's just about education right it's about showing people the right way right sharing, that, showing them that's all we're after I just wanted to put it out there to say hey I can be there just let me know if that's something that you would like to do yeah and if you had any ideas for collaboration that'd be fantastic i would i have some excellent ideas for collaboration so i'm probably going to come in either on the 12th or the 13th that was, i'm that that would be just fine and then yeah we can we'll make something happen it'd be awesome okay now you got my email when you get your uh, plans and everything will you uh shoot that off to my email yes sir and this is exciting for me like i mean you uh, honestly you know there's a few people i'd like to meet and, uh, and, and you're one of them. Uh, I'll look for the email. Look forward to doing a collaboration with you. We'll brainstorm a little bit before you get here and we'll make sure it's all good. And of course, uh, you know, we'll, we'll collaborate. I'll make sure that you get all the footage you need for, for your own stuff too. Awesome, thanks sir, appreciate it. All right, I'll, Blake, thank you for your time and uh, I'll look for your email. All right, sounds good, thanks sir. Thank you, bye bye. Okay, so look, I got this great announcement. I love announcements. That was supposed to be like not acting right there, but we're actually acting this seriously. I got a great announcement. So, who do you think is coming to visit Ooh, us? Ooh, Total Seal? Yeah, dude. I'd have yeah, to say dude. the one and only Lake Speed. One of your heroes, bro. <laughs> one of your heroes. He sent us this ring package. You know how uh, we had Feet of Air yeah. in here showing us their pistons, and we're using those awesome now on our pistons. upgrade. This is so great because Lake Speed's going to be here tomorrow. Wow. And uh, he's coming to Utah, coming to just see me. I, seriously, Lake, you the man, dude. Uh, we love your videos. We love your education. Big we, time. We I've love a what ton you from Lake Speed. We love what you preach, man, because what you preach is all about longevity, durability, and uh, making it right. That's in my church. That's gospel. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But uh, he's going to show us these gapless rings. Let me, let me open this box and show you. This would be the top ring, normal top ring there. The second ring, though, is what they call a gapless ring. And it has this little piece of wire that comes out here and lays in on that little ledge right there. And that keeps it so that we don't have any blow-by into the crankcase from the compression ring, the top ring. Lake is going to come and talk to us more about it. I don't want to say much more about it because I'll probably just step all over myself. <laughs> but I'm interested to hear about that. After this video, be looking for a great video coming from uh, the three of us, well, the two of us and Lake Speed. Can't wait.